Hello. Welcome. God bless you. Glad you're here. It's time for our daily devotion. This is where we take a chapter from the Bible and we read it together. We post these videos five days a week. You can access them at any time. There's a playlist for each biblical book we've gone through. As of the time of this recording, there's a whole playlist that covers the entire... There's a playlist that uncovers the whole book of Matthew. And then one for Mark, one for Luke. We're creating the one for John right now. Today we're reading John chapter uh, 13. John chapter 13. And uh, we've seen in the prior chapter, chapter 12, Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. Uh, Jesus predicts his death. We saw in chapter 11, there's a plot against Jesus. And uh, here in chapter 13, it's a little shorter chapter, 38 verses. Uh, we see Jesus wash the disciples' feet. Jesus is going to predict not only his death, but his betrayal. He's going to predict Peter's denial. And that takes us through this chapter. Reading from the New Living Translation, let's begin. John chapter 13, verse 1 says this, Before the Passover celebration, that's why he's come to Jerusalem, Jesus knew that his hour had come to leave this world and to return to his Father. He had loved his disciples during his ministry on earth, and now he loved them to the very end. It was time for supper, and the devil had already prompted Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. And Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything, and that he had come from God and would return to God. So he got up from the table, and he took off his robe. He wrapped a towel around his waist and poured water into a basin, and then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. When Jesus came to Simon Peter, Peter said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? And Jesus replied, you don't understand now what I'm doing, but someday you will. No, Peter protested, you'll never wash my feet. And Jesus replied, unless I wash you, you won't belong to me. And Simon Peter uh, exclaimed, then wash my hands and my head as well, Lord, not just my feet. Jesus replied, A person who is bathed all over doesn't need to wash except for the feet to be entirely clean. And you disciples are clean, but not all of you. Jesus knew who would betray him, and that's what he meant when he said, Not all of you are clean. After washing their feet, he put on his robe again, and he sat down and he asked, Do you understand what I was doing? You call me teacher and Lord, and you're right, because that's what I am. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. I've given you an example to follow. Do as I've done to you, and I tell you the truth. Slaves are not greater than their master. Nor is the messenger more important than the one who sends the message. Now you know these things, and God will bless you for doing them. I'm not saying these things to all of you. I know the ones I've chosen, but this fulfills the scripture that says, The one who eats my food is turned against me. I tell you this beforehand so that when it happens, you'll believe that I am the Messiah. I tell you the truth. Anyone who welcomes my messenger is welcoming me. And anyone who welcomes me is welcoming the Father who sent me. And now Jesus was deeply troubled. And he exclaimed, I tell you the truth. One of you will betray me. And the disciples looked at each other wondering whom he could mean, and the disciple Jesus loved, that's John, was sitting next to Jesus at the table. Simon Peter motioned to him to ask, hey, who's, who's he talking about? So the disciples leaned over to Jesus and asked, Lord, who is it? And Jesus responded, it's the one to whom I give the bread I dip in the bowl. And when he had dipped it, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. And when Judas had eaten the bread, Satan entered into him. Then Jesus told him, hurry and do what you're going to do. None of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant. Since Judas was their treasurer, some thought Jesus was telling him to go and pay for the food or to give some money to the poor. And so Judas left at once, going out into the night. As soon as Judas left the room, Jesus said, The time has come for the Son of Man to enter His glory, and God will be glorified because of Him. 
And since God receives glory because of the Son, He will soon give glory to the Son. Dear children, I'll be with you only a little longer. As I told the Jewish leaders, you'll search for me, but you can't come where I'm going. And so now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Simon Peter asked, Lord, where are you going? And Peter replied, excuse me, and Jesus replied, You can't go with me now, but you'll follow me later. But why can't I come now, Lord? He asked, I'm ready to die for you. And Jesus answered, Die for me. I tell you the truth, Peter, before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you'll deny three times that you even know me. That concludes John chapter 13. Hope you've been blessed by this chapter from uh, God's Word, from the New Testament, from the Gospel of John. Share this with anyone else that you think might also be blessed, might want to include a little God's Word in their day and might benefit from a tool to help with that. I uh, hope you join us again next time as we read John chapter 13. 14. God bless you.